Why, hello there, hunters and savages alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy, and today we are going to draw a character from my World of Chibu tabletop RPG. Woo! That is Mishwife Catherine. I mean, not drawing the Mishwife. Oh, my wife's out here on the balcony. I told her she could be in it, so apparently. <laughs> she's just in, she's introduced herself. Her name is Mishwife Catherine. Is that correct? Mish, not mish. Mish, yeah, that's what I said. I don't know what mish means. means mouse. So she's the mouse wife, Catherine. Wait, you're the mouse wife. So we're gonna... <laughs> so we're gonna draw... So I've been working on my own tabletop role-playing game system called World of Chibu. You can see a little sneak preview here. And I popped some of these characters than we drew last time. And I, I like the style and stuff, so I was like... I'm going to draw each of the different uh, peoples, which is kind of like a races and classes combined. Um, and I want to challenge myself a little, so I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to draw two characters, because each uh, peoples has two subclasses, so we have hunters and savages this time. And also, I want to maybe incorporate the element. Each one gets a bonus on a different element. So, um, so I might want to put something like that in there. Uh, cool. So let's get started. It's gonna be. In I brought this up because I'm gonna try to keep similar color palette. I think I'm gonna keep a similar color palette. I like the way it was looking. So, oh, and the other way I'm gonna challenge myself. The final way is I'll just start doing some little sketches to get some ideas. Um, is to draw a male and female. So, um, so yeah, like I said, one thing I'm gonna have to figure out. Let's see if we have this. If he's like drawing an arrow, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, so, okay. Is how to pose both of these guys. And then, so, okay, so I should talk about what the hunters and savages, what their main little, uh, little, little bio. I keep the bios really short because I want to leave it up to the imagination. You know what a hunter is responsible for the tribe's protein supply. And a savage, human sacrifice with a side of cannibalism, please. So the savages are like the cannibalistic tribal people you wouldn't want to run into, witch doctors and stuff of the jungles. Why isn't this working? My technology is failing me. There, okay, here we go. Um, uh-oh. Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's give her, like, we need one guy's, there's got to be some skulls in here. That's something I know for sure. Because, for the savage. Oh yeah, one's supposed to be a guy and one's a girl, okay. So, um, so let's see. Could this be the, the witch doctor be the girl? The savage. I was thinking of this uh, and the hunter, or should the hunter be? It's tough. Oh, that's cute. Look how cute these eyes look. What you watching, honey? Caesar nine one one. I like how it's 911. Yeah. It's very serious. It is, though, those dogs like. These people need help ASAP. The people. Yeah, oh, the people. And the dogs. And the dogs. I don't think Caesar cares about the people. Uh, okay. He's there, but don't you, don't you get the impression that he's there for the dogs? And that the people are just like. And people are in charge of the dogs. Uh, I feel like in an ideal world, Caesar would like it would be ruled by dogs. Except for Caesar would be the al Caesar would somehow be the alpha dog of like, so he'd be the king. And then humans would play a subservient role, so, like they would be like the servants of dogs.
right? So I know that was a lot of flash mode, but we're done. Unfortunately, it wouldn't fit on the page with both the characters. Yes, Muffin and Jingle are very upset about this as well, but I think it looks cool with just one character. And I found another spot for our uh, jungle hunter. So we might just do one character for each. We'll see. Anyways, for now, peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.